out the doorways Friends of yours will tell me more What happens in your mind Ooh. Oh Can we try and take the hammer What I said was, is there really is no narrative for this. Fuck. DVD. Because I don't think there's really a narrative for a band. I mean, I don't think there ever has been. I don't think that we're part of a... We've never been part of a movement. We're not, we're not part of a scene. We don't subscribe to any of that. Except for that, we did a stint with the Black Panthers, but that didn't pan out so much. <laughs> I mean, I know what you mean, because that thing didn't happen. Can we try and take the there were a bunch of scenes going on all, all, in San Francisco, and none of them were happening, you know? I mean, well, for us, they weren't happening, and there was always like this something to belong to or conform to, and we didn't do any of that. Is that bullshit? The first two albums were all part of that same scene. <laughs> Basically everything that came from the inception of the... <laughs> right, right. They came from... <laughs> everything that came... Everything that came from the beginning of the... <laughs> First two albums were a, a piece and, I, and then even the touring after that that we did uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dude, this just <laughs> never works. I was very confused about a lot of things like at the end of that last tour. I would never want to kill anyone in hot weather. I've been pushing so hard since about 1990, just sleeping on floors, and I had this sound in my head that I was trying to get out, and I was trying to maintain it, and I was trying to hold on to it. We were ready. We've been waiting for you, bro. Fucking bullshit. And I, I just, I just don't do that now. Okay, so we go and we're sitting in the hotel. I couldn't really think of the name of where of the hotel that I'm in. Mean, the hotel, the city that I'm in right now. Going out, there's 20,000 people. They're screaming, they're going nuts. The world, you know, your, your heart is out here and you're going, ah, and you go and you sit at the hotel. God, when you come off that stage, it's up really high and then it comes really low. There's this one very simple lesson that people were trying to beat into my head, which is, Let's enjoy what we have and let's live this life that we have now. I just fight that concept, kicking and screaming. We're all willing to be close to each other as friends. When you're singing to people, it doesn't matter what you're singing, you're still saying, I love you. I definitely like look at people in the eye and I'm, I'm not shy like that. The moments that I remember from a night, you know, Stephen, he went into these harmonics this way and we, we really hit it. I just can't understand bands who are like, oh, I hate touring. Touring's such a ball that it's so not rock and roll. And I love going out and playing. You know? My mom said, she said, the only time that you seem really relaxed is when you're on stage. Is there anybody in the band that you just don't want to see? They're all a bunch of dirty fucks. Of course. <laughs> Would you validate me? Would you pat me on the head and say I'm okay? <laughs> that was dope, dude. In one word, describe each band member and yourself. I would say heart. I would say You're not going to tell Orion what to do. But do you understand what I'm getting at? That it was it doesn't matter if we go to a... There's no telling Orion. You're going to... That's your job. I know. <laughs> well, let it take it from me. There's no telling Orion. I wish I could. Why is Orion mad? We keep telling the fans that the record's going to be done. Orion's very in touch with this internet community. 
it can get really pissed off. And he's really affected by that, right. you know. And well, so, how close are you to Ming Dunn? Fuck, I don't know. Get <laughs> away, man. Leave me alone! No! This is Orion. He's in big trouble. I love Orion. He's, he's like, he's, he's, he's the best looking guy in the band. You know? He's pretty. You were right there, dude. Oh, the fucking... I mean, God. Why? Are they trying to go into the bathroom? No, it's not. Instead of do 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 do, you could go do 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 Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <dude>. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely say mind for Steven. Oh, the love Oh, oh sorry. Your pinky down. Just your just your pinky. What? You know when you got like ah. Oh, shit. He is the most profound lyricist of our times. I have these two goddaughters. Like there's a shout out to Sabian in uh, in Forget Myself. I love those girls so much. Come on man, get going. I believe in respect for life. I believe in humility. I'll tell you how I got so loud. Volume. songs have that sense of melancholy, but there's also some sense of hope. A lot of songs I write, I have a rhythm, some sense of longing, and I send lullabies out there to echo back to myself. That's the way it drops into, again? Just an old friend coming over now to visit you, and that's what I've become. I feel comfort in, in, in Steven leading. I seem upset. And I thought that the problem wasn't in your monitors, the problem was in the rig. It's the big leads. So you don't have to pull any punches. See what I'm saying? Well, let's go tell him this guy to come back. I know how this rig works, man. This conversation before, is totally done. Be before, before this, before this past week, it's just totally annoying me. Anyways, and now I'm gonna cue you on. Up. I'm gonna cue you on. I think at the end, of, um, I'm gonna try and cue you. Yeah, I, th I think really think that we can have this song done in about two hours, and it'll sound Local's really done good. done and comped and everything in sure. two hours. There's a vocal. I'm gonna double some stuff up, put a little harmony on it. Put a little melody. I mean, we're stenographers. On this, on this B section, once I, once we get this together. I mean, I mean at the coda at the end. Steve, how life's been treating you lately? How's life been for you on the road? For Brad, 
I was just gonna say friend. What'd you say? Brad touched you? <laughs> <laughs> he touched you there? <laughs> Show me again? Brad. Kinda was there to help me. Brad's moved to LA. Oh, shit. Yeah? He's gotten a little, a little bit more like, uh... Whoa, a little fucking... That's weird. Little lunch came up there. <laughs> Try that one. Ooh, with Coke? Yeah, it's so good. Oh my god. <laughs> we did that in uh, Houston, had a little party in my room. Drank a whole bottle of that. Like, oh, bro. Throw the lamp in. It's so fun. Since he's moved to L.A., Brad has gotten a little bit more, um... Baggy? I, I I think. Well, how much footage do they have? Brad holds a lot of consistency yes. for himself about everything. Brad is the constant one. It's not a surprise to me that that's why all of our recordings start with what he does. Right, right, right. I'm always glad when he's around. I've never seen Brad happier than he is this year. For me, I would just say, um, Seeker. Tony's just a motherfucker. I know he's working for Dark Forces. I guess I would be more of a new age guy of the band, and, and they hate me for that, because they're more really from the punk rock school. Uh -huh. Little lesson about life. You win or you lose, bro. Fuck him. <laughs> oh, Kurt. I want to be able to sing whatever it is I'm doing. So I think that gives me a kind of a different slant on making melodies. Yes? Is it gonna be loud in here? No. You know, Tony has a cool boy. And if you eat that sugar, you should be pretty hyper. Did you say Rice Krispie Treats? Ah, <laughs> yes. I did. <laughs> you already had one. You're a books? computer pinball wizard. <laughs> you got some books? Yeah, I need some books here. I got some books. Here's one on crime. We need to get you a Here's shelf a good book of for your you. books and your toys. It's a good book. Yeah. Toys. Crying. Toys. That's all I need. <laughs> what? T Tony's coat, right? And I thought this coat was really cool, except that Joseph called, yes. and he wants his amazing Technicolor dream coat back. All of these guys, they basically become my best friends. That's why, you know, we can yell and scream at each other sometimes, and it can be all right in 10 minutes, because sometimes there's just so much energy and everything that happens here that it'll burst out sometimes. Turn the camera off. God, you need to sing One, it, buddy. Two, three, four. I'm really getting into Nick Fleetwood. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> I just I think I like, like his eyes. He's just you know, he's really <laughs> tall. Eyes. You know, they, they should start us on that harmonic. We all end up ugly. <laughs> now it is your time to be beautiful and strong. song. 
it's like played in the living room, kind of small. Afghan rug, bong hit, taste of burgundy. Getting good. Just a fingertip. <laughs> <laughs> Tom sound like the War of 1812, dude. I want you to try it one more time, but you need to have something to hit for a snare. You're done.
Just an old friend coming over now to visit you and that's what I've become. I let myself in though I know I'm not supposed to but I never know when I'm done and I see you fucking up the totally harmless by the girls do.